بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ویلکم یو ان دی نیکسٹ لیکچر وچ از لیکچر نمبر 5 ٹوڈے آئی سالو ٹو مور پرابلمز ان ریکٹیلینیر موشن اینڈ دے ار لٹل بٹ ڈیفیکلٹ اینڈ دس ول اینڈ دی ٹاپک اف دی ریکٹیلینیر موشن ان کارٹیشن کوارڈینیٹس فور مائی سائیڈ آئی ہیو گیون یو دی اسائنمنٹ Uh, that uh, that assignment cover this topic and next topic will be inshallah the uh, regarding the uh, curvilinear motion so i'm dr liaqat uh, this is problem 2-11 ball 1 is launched with an initial vertical velocity v1 is equal to 160 feet per second 3 seconds later ball 2 is launched with an initial ve- vertical velocity v2 determine v2 if the balls are to collide at an altitude of 300 feet at the instant of collision is ball 1 ascending or descending uh, if you see the first ball initial velocity is uh, 160 feet per second and after 3 seconds the second ball is moving uh, vertically upward so if you if we find we first focus on on <coughs> first ball at what time it will be at 300 feet altitude so uh, according to newton equation of motion because here the acceleration is constant which is g and it is moving upwards minus g so h1 is equal to v 1t minus half gt square minus is because it is it is ascending and of course we we have given the uh, the h1 and h1 is 300 right and then vit v is equal to 160t minus half and g is equal to 2.2 feet per second square t square and we get a quadratic equation we get this uh, we putting by this value we get the quadratic equation t square minus 9.94 my plus 19.63 by using the quadratic formula we get the two two uh, equa- two equations sorry that is the one is uh, two value of the time it is 2.51 and 7.44 seconds since we need to find where the two, these two balls collide of course these ball will uh, uh, the second ball is being thrown after 3 second therefore we have to to take uh, the second value of the time right which is 7.44 seconds so the time of the second ball to move is uh, how much time the second ball will take to move that is 7.44 second after the first ball minus 3 because the first ball is being hit after the 3 seconds so it is 4.44 second is a traveling time of the second ball when they collide with each other hence uh, time uh, <coughs> velocity of the uh, second ball at this h will be the velocity will be h is equal to v2t minus half gt square it's 300 v2 the time when they when they meet the second ball with the first ball is 4.44 minus half so 2.2 and then 4.44 square the velocity 13 139 feet per second and the first ball of course it is it is basically uh, descending the first ball is descending uh, and the second ball is uh, ascending so in this question basically we use the newton's newton's equation of motion because the acceleration is constant and the main main point is where these two balls collide we first of all find the 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 uh, the times where these two two where this this ball uh, first ball passes the 300 altitude of course first time is 2. something 2.5 seconds of course which is been ignored why because the first ball is hit after 3 seconds of the <coughs> first ball so i hope this uh, question is to be understand for you and next uh, is the this is very uh, th- this question i have done for you f- how to uh get the relationships from a graphical representation of uh, even if we given the velocity or, or the displacement or acceleration this is problem 2-29 
in your book which is seventh uh, edition of jail maryam a particle starts from rest at x is equal to minus 2 meters right and moves along the x axis with the velocity history shown velocity history is shown in the graph plot the corresponding acceleration and the displacement histories of the two of 42 seconds find the time t when the particle crosses the origin where we, we find where this of course crosses the origin if you see we have given the velocity time graph for the first two seconds if you see first of all from 0 to 0.5 second it follow the straight line like this at some angle and then 0.5 to 1 second the velocity is constant is 3 meter per second and then from 1 to 2 seconds, the velocity is decreasing. So, I have to find the relationships either for displacement or for acceleration in, and we divide into three piecewise functions. One function is valid from 0 to 0.5, the other function is valid from 0.5 to, uh, 0.5 to 1 and then other function is valid from 1 to 2 seconds. Okay, let students start and uh, please focus on this question. Uh, we need to find, of course, the uh, velocity as a function of time, displacement as a function of time, and acceleration as a function of time. For this, it is clearly seen from the graph that it can be done by breaking into three parts. <coughs> So, 0 less than equal to t and t less than equal to 0.5 for the first part, which is slanting one. 0.5 less than equal to t, t is less than equal to 1 for the straight line. And, of course, for 1 less than equal to t and t less than equal to 2 for the third part, which is the deceleration part. So, from the given velocity time graph, I use the, uh, the, the same uh, equation. I need to find the equation because the straight line and when the straight line is there, we, we have two points, we can find the equation y minus y1 over y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 over x2 minus x1. So, I have taken t minus 0, 0 0.50, v minus 0, 3 minus 0, right? I have taken two point, one point is this and other point is this. Here, of course, v is 0, t is 0, here v is 3 and t is 0.5 and I got the relationship between velocity and time for this uh, part of the problem right that is uh, the uh, that is this v is equal to 60 right <coughs> for the next part velocity is constant velocity is equal to 3 meter per second for 0.5 to 1 and then for the decelerating part i also find the relationship at t is equal to 1 the velocity is 3 at t is equal to 2 the, velo the velocity is minus 1 and i find found the relationship for this time so, we have find the relationship for velocities. Okay, first, for the first 0.5 second is 16. For the next 0.5 second is, is constant. For the next one second, it's relation for, find the uh, minus 40 plus 7. Now, if we, I need to find S, uh, because we, f we, have, we have given the velocity graph, but we have not given the equation. So, therefore, I have developed the equations. Now, I need to find the uh, distance. For the distance, of course, V is equal to ds, ds by dt, and ds is equal to V dt. And I apply, of course, move from uh, from this because initial point, initial displacement is minus 2. So, minus 2 to S, ds. And this is, of course, uh, from uh, 0 to uh, t. So, 0 to t, sorry. 0 to t, 0 to t. And I integrate, of course, we get S1, 3t square minus one minus 2. I call S1 y because it's the first part from 0 to less than equal to t and t less than equal to 0.5. Now, let's move here. Now, S1 at t is equal to 0.5 at the end. What is t? What is the displacement? Displacement is minus 1.25 meter because initial displacement is minus 2. It moves about 0.75 meters and then the next displacement is minus 0.1.25 <coughs> one because for the next part, which is uh, uh, only 3 seconds, so ds is equal to v dt is minus 1.25 to s2, which is 3, 3 dt. Of course, the relationship which I get, s2 plus 1.25, finally I get the s2 is equal to 3t minus 2.75. And 
if you want to check uh, whether we are getting this the, the, the correct relationship or not if you put of course t is equal to uh, 0.5 because this relation is valid from 0.5 to 1 you get the same which is the displacement minus 1.25 now for t is equal to uh, 1 uh, second to 2 second of course the I need to find what, for first of all what is s2 at uh, 1 second it is minus uh, <coughs> so it is plus 0.25 meters why you find uh, th this one because when I uh, find a third relationship this is the initial initial value for the integrating so velocity when the particle crosses the origin uh, this is one of the requirement that very simple that velocity at that point will be equal to zero which I found out and that is 1.75 seconds now s3 from uh, one second to 1.75 seconds or minus one seconds <coughs> using the same relationship right uh, uh, by uh, y minus y1 y2 minus y1 x minus x1 x2 x1 so t minus 1 1.75 minus 1 I use this decision I get vt v is equal to minus 4t plus 7 so it doesn't mean whether you because the same line if I, I just want to show you whether you take the relationship from uh, minus 1 to 2 because the same line or minus 1 to 1 1.7 where it crosses we get the same relationship <coughs> Excuse me. Now I start S. So I need to find S, of course. So for point, uh, uh, sorry, point two five is a displacement at t is equal to one in the second relationship to S three, and then integrate. We get the cube. We, we get the uh, quadratic equation of this. Okay, minus two t square plus seven t minus four point seven five, and that is one is less than equal to t less than equal to uh, one point seven five. Rather, it is also valid for uh, 2. It is also valid for 2. You get the same relationship. Next time, next thing is of course the, we have to find out the, if you need to find at uh, t is equal to 2, you just put the values 1.25 uh, meters. And distance at uh, when the velocity, velocity becomes 0, it is 1.375 meter because we will put t is equal to 1.7 seconds. Now the next relationship is to find the acceleration. A very, 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 very simple because velocity. The first velocity function is um, 60. We take the uh, derivative. We get 6 uh, t meter per second square. In the second case, velocity is constant. Acceleration is zero. In the third case, it is deceleration minus 4 meter per second square. And now we will plot this. This is the initial plot which is given you given to you the velocity. This is the, the difficult part because this is the first part and it is a quadratic equation so it's a curve then it is a straight line right and then again it is a curve 1.375 and then is further reduced to 1.25 it is uh, like this right it's move upward and then come uh, downward this this is the uh, displacement as for acceleration is concerned from 0 to 0 0.5 it is just a straight line right which is a 6 meter per second square then it reduces to then it reduces to 0 and then after this from 1 to 2 it is uh, again a constant deceleration of minus 4 meter per second square so please uh, do this uh, problem with your hands and I, I have also given some of the uh, problems in your assignment uh, like this. So you have to do yourself and if you have any problem, please let me know. And my suggestion is, which I have the problem which I have solved in this slide, especially these two problems, please do it yourself uh, such that you will understand how we, we, we will uh, do the plotting of uh, one variable then the variable means velocity or displacement and then the other variable can be plotted. Okay, thank you very much for this uh, uh, my this uh, lecture. Inshallah, I will put the lecture number six that is regarding the that is regarding uh, the uh, curvilinear motion.